Hello friends, and I'm so pleased to be able to announce the release of my new backup tool for OpenTunes on Windows. And I've been working on this for a while as a personal project, and I finally got it to a point where I think it can be used by you guys. So it's a tool to run alongside OpenTunes, and it monitors when you save your scene, and then it'll take a copy of your files, versioning them all so you can more easily share them, or revert your scene to a previous version of your animation. Now first it's worth mentioning that you might not be aware that your scenes and drawings can already be backed up by OpenTunes. So if you go to the General tab of the Preferences, and here you can see the option to allow backups and how many of them to create. And if you look at the results of this being set while I was using it, and this just creates a rolling version of files when you save up to the number you requested. So if something goes wrong or if you don't like a version you've saved, you can manually revert the files back by renaming them. And I'm sure this will be automated at some point, but for now it's a bit messy. But it might be fine for you, so I thought you should know about it. But before this was an option, I'd created a backup tool for myself, and I've recently updated it to work much smoother. So let me show you. So you can download it from Gumroad, and I've got a link in the description for that. And you can enter an amount to pay for it, or just set it to zero and download it for free. That's your choice. So all you need to do is enter your email address, then hit the get button, and then download. And it doesn't have an installer, it's just a simple zip file. So extract it and move the extracted folder somewhere on disk that makes sense to you, and then just run the exe file. And because Windows Defender doesn't recognise the program, all you need to do is click on more info and then run anyway. If you've got a virus checker, I use AVG, that could warn you about the program not being recognised. So just click run anyway to allow it to run. So the principle of what it does is really simple. You just tell it where your projects are stored at the top here, and then decide which files and folders you want backing up, and then you tell it to watch for any scenes saving below this folder by clicking the start button. So just click this button to begin, and you'll be taken straight to the backup tab to watch out for backups. Now if at some point you want to pause watching for backups, simply go back to the setup page and click the start button. And when you're ready to begin again, just re-click the start button. So I'll just open OpenTunes, create a project and scene, and then you'll see how this works. So after creating the project and scene, you'll see it created the project and subfolders. So if we go back to OpenTunes and save the scene by clicking Save All. After a couple of seconds, you'll see the backup tool told us it's taken a backup copy of it. And now there's a new backup folder in the Explorer view. So if we take a look in there. So ready by clicking Save, you'll see we've got a backup of the project in a single OT backup file and there's a temp folder. So if we take a look in there, you see the temp folder contains a folder of that project, and that contains everything that's in that single backup file, which is basically a copy of your project. And this is useful if you need to compare different versions that are backed up in this session. You can simply compare the folders that are in the temp folder. But be aware that the temp folder is deleted each time you restart the program to save on disk space. But you might want to take a look in here the first couple of times of using it, just so that you're comfortable with what is being backed up. Especially if you change the backup settings on this first page. But actually, it's only the OT backup file that you need. And a behind the curtain tip for you is that this file is just a zip file. So if you change its file extension back to zip, and then you can unzip it to see its contents. And a byproduct of having this single file is that it's much easier to share with other people if you're working on projects together, or if you have a problem and want to share your project with someone else. They just need to move this OT backup file into their backups folder, and then they can use this tool to restore the project and take a look at it. But I've made a separate video about the files in a project that you might find useful if you're delving into them, and I'll link that above. So the next thing on this page in the backup tool is you can copy your backups to a named version with a name that makes sense describing what you've done. So as I suggest here, you might want to name the latest version once you finish your sketches, then another when you finish your inking, and another after adding your colour or effects. 
And you can always rename an older version by selecting it from this drop down. If you're happy that the name backups are all that you need, you can always click the delete button to remove any other backup that isn't named. So let me just name this first version. So type in the new name to append to the backup and choose make a copy. And you'll see there's now a copy of your project in the Explorer as well as the original backup. And if I come back into the tool and hit the delete button, you'll see the non-named version disappear. Okay, so let me just show you how this works by creating a few backups. So I saved this project three times as I was amending it. So that's given me three backups. I named their copies so we can see what they are. And if I hit the delete button, you'll see the unnamed versions disappear. Which gives a simpler, clearer view of the backups. You can see all of them in the backup list. So let me show you how you can roll back to older versions of your animation. So the next tab is to allow you to roll back to older versions of your scene. And this could be so you can render an older version for comparison, or because you don't like your latest version and perhaps there's a problem and you need to go back to a working version. Whichever it is, restoring to an older version is very simple. And if you need to keep your current version, make sure it's been saved first. Then you simply select the version to restore back to and hit restore this. And then in OpenTunes, reload the scene. And you can do this with the recent file list by selecting the same project name. So you can see here it's loaded the first version of the scene that just has the circle in it. So if we change this to the second version where I added a rectangle and restore this. And then I can show you the easy way to reload the project and that's simply to hit reverse scene. And now we're looking at version 2 with a circle and a rectangle. And finally, let's load the latest version with the green ellipse. And there you can see the extra frame with the green ellipse in. So you can skip between versions by repeatedly reverting to that version in the backup tool and then reverting the scene in OpenTunes. And whichever version you last have in OpenTunes, when you next click save, it'll continue with the next highest version number. So if I hit save now, it'll save this as version number 5. And finally, there's the About tab, showing the current version number and a link so you can check back to see if there's a newer version. And I would advise doing this as I expect I'll receive a few suggestions over the next few days and maybe a bug report or two. And if you do have any suggestions or bug reports, you can email them to me from this link here. There's my socials at the bottom so you can go directly to my YouTube videos, my Facebook and Twitter pages and the OpenTunes Discord server. And finally, there's a couple of links if you find this tool useful to help the channel out. You can either buy me a coffee or two or follow the affiliate links in my kit to my recommended animation books and equipment. So that's it, my OpenTunes backup tool. Take a look and see if it's useful to you and do let me know what you think about it either here in the comments or via my email. So I'll see you soon for another video. And that's a guarantee.